crack welcome to today's episode my name is david kelly i'm the irish guy vlogs and in today's episode you're going to see some behind the scenes shooting from uh, my christmas video which i released a couple of days ago and if you haven't seen it you can watch it up here but uh, i'm here with my cam i'm here setting up my camera at the minute this is my uh, black magic my baby and it's got a 12 to 75 mil uh, lens on the front and what I'm doing now at the minute is I just broke up some bread and I'm gonna try and feed it to the birds out the back and get a shot of them through the window. Oh, one of them just flew over. I'm starting off nice and easy because I have about 32 shots I think to get here in my house and then I have eight shots to get downtown. I have about five shots to get in my mother's house of Christmas trees and stuff and then I have to get a shot outside of town. I'll also be using a drone shot from a friend of mine, Johnny Murta, who's given me permission to use some of his shots and I'll put a link to his channel uh, down below. Now, this is my big camera, like this is the camera that I use if I want to do professional big videos, you know, client videos. Battery is fully charged. Yeah, all my lenses are ready to go, just in case I need to change, but I'm going to be using this one for the time being. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking. But first I've got to feed the birds, and actually they're very lucky birds because it's Considine's bird that I'm giving them. So I just set the bread for the birds, uh, we'll see now if they come flocking. Okay, so I've definitely got enough shots of the birds. I'm only gonna need like two or three seconds in the end. I'm just gonna fly through them, I don't know. I'm obviously not gonna do behind the scenes for every single shot, but I'll give updates as I go along and uh, I'm not sure if I'll give tips and tricks or whatever, but I'll just kind of show you what I'm up to. Let's go. And of course he always shows up late, but there's Barry the Pigeon in for his morning meal. How are you, Barry? Good to see you, Barry, and happy Christmas to you and yours. So I've got a couple of shots done already. I'm setting up now for a fancy shot of some gravy. I'm just here with my, uh, with my slider, so it's gonna be moving across. When you're working with lots of different rigs, so I'm going from my shoulder rig to my slider here. This is probably the most important thing you're gonna need. And it's a quarter inch to a 3 8 inch tread converter. And you need these for basically everything. I'm setting up my slider here with a tripod head on the top. I know this might seem like overkill because I'm just getting a shot of some gravy. I want the video to have a certain style and a certain kind of feel. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get a slider shot of some gravy. Ooh, the gravy's almost ready. Camera is set up and ready to go. It's gonna be moving across roughly here somewhere. But the gravy's thick and bubbling. And that was it, I got the shot of the gravy, and now I have all this gravy left over. Um, I'm not going to feed it to the birds. <laughs> but I do have a shot coming later where I need to do like lots of washing up and stuff. So I'm just going to keep all this here for the actual washing up later. So there's one of the shots in the video that says uh, that the turkey is on, and I, like, I didn't buy a turkey just for this video. So if you don't have a turkey, you have to make a fake turkey. So you have your hot water, the oven, it's empty. And then you get some tin foil and you cover it similarly enough to this i'm going to do it a bit more and then it would actually look like a turkey when you have a shot of it in the oven voila there we have our turkey with steam and everything and yeah, you can barely see the steam but uh it'll get a lot better when i put it in the oven and pretend it's a turkey so yeah in goes the turkey god damn it <laughs> so the whole idea of the shot is to not actually show the turkey it's just to show the steam coming out of the oven so it gives the impression that i'm cooking a turkey you don't actually need a turkey you just have to convey the idea that there is a turkey there and that it's being cooked. The turkey too. And I have some spuds boiling as well. The spuds are gonna be for a separate shot of potatoes boiling. And the spuds won't be too long. And that just kind of sums up the whole Christmas dinner idea that you'll see in the video. And yeah, nice little simple shots, quick, simple to put together. Like, you know, they kind of tell a story and yeah. I like shooting like this, I really really do because it's quick, it's efficient, it's all in one location, minor changes when I do want to set up a different shot and yeah, it's cool. I meant to say earlier that I'm shooting on vintage lenses as well, these are old Canon uh, FD lenses. I hope to get the vintage kind of feel to it, you know like the old kind of Christmas 70s, 80s feel to it, where it's kind of like a little softer and like a little more natural I guess. 28mm FD lenses, I have a 50mm here as well, and it's actually a micro four thirds to FD speed booster that I have, so the speed booster gives me one extra stop of light and it gives me a wider field of view as well. Uh, I'm set up again with another shot, I'm getting a shot of like the Christmas Christmas stockings and normally we don't hang Christmas stockings and like if you look inside them I've got tea towels inside I've got presents in this one and more tea towels in this one 
And it just didn't look great when they were just hanging there by themselves, so uh, I filled them up with stuff and yeah, gonna get a shot of them now. There's a stocking, what's your name? So I'm onto my biggest shot of the day, which is like a fake uh, Christmas dinner, which I have to kind of make look real. Uh, I don't have a turkey, uh, I don't really have much food. I tried to make it look like the aftermath of a Christmas dinner, so there's like crackers are broken, the hats are like used and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to do this kind of stuff because it's like I'm, you know, it's like I'm really having Christmas dinner, but I'm not, and it's like a few days before, and it's just weird as well. I still have a lot more shots to get, like my head is up in a heap now, but I, I'm making good progress, I'm getting through it, and I'm really enjoying it, so yeah, let's crack on. There's crackers drawn, and the table's done. There's a space set at the table, and an extra solemn chair to remember all our loved ones, no longer sitting there. And then after all the feasting, boiling up some mulled wine just to get a nice shot of it, some cinnamon sticks and some orange inside it. And those Christmas morning smells. Like, I'm really just trying to capture the Christmas vibe without actually spending all the money to make a Christmas dinner and go through it all. I'm trying to do everything on the cheap and that's what you have to do when you're a one-man film crew. You have to do everything on the cheap, that's just how it is. So as you can see, the place is in an absolute state, but uh, yeah, I'll get there, I'll fix it. I'm just about to do the washing up scene. More chaos, more cleaning to be done, but yeah, it's all part of the job. I'm here trying to get the washing up shot, and I can't make suds. I've been trying to make suds, my hands are like spotless clean, because I've been trying to make suds for like 20 minutes, and I can't make them. I wanted to have like, uh, I wanted like bubbles all over the washing up, but like, I just can't make them. Look how soft my hands are. Uh, it's gonna do fine like this, it's just it would have been nice to have bubbles all over it, but yeah, you live and learn. I'll learn how to make bubbles for the next time. I'll try and give you an idea of what the shot's gonna be like. Be something like this. Something like that. It's very hard to do with one hand, but yeah, you get the idea. There's washing to be done. But it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so it's 10 to 11. Uh, I've got a lot of shots into the... I've done some editing already. There's still some shots that I need to get tomorrow. But I have them all lined up, and I have them ready to go. And one of them is a trifle. I have to get like a shot of a set trifle. I'm gonna sprinkle some chocolate on top. In order to get that shot, I have to make a trifle. So yeah, <laughs> here I am making a trifle. This one has uh, Brussels sprouts in it. It's it's it's, um, it's a new flavor that I'm trying. Trifle sponges, some jelly, and some custard, and some fruit cocktail. So the sponge is ready. I'm gonna get the jelly into the pan. Mm -hmm. Not sure if I have enough. And just mix it up. So I was just thinking, when this sets, I want to have like a cherry on, on the outside, on the side of the glass, so I need to, I uh, have one here, I need to put this cherry down here, so that when it sets, I can get a shot of it through the glass, if that makes sense. So it'll be something like that, obviously it won't be this dark, but uh, you get the idea. It's typical, right after I make my trifle, I find a way bigger bowl that I could have used. So yeah. So the trifle is done, but it's not over yet. I still have to go downtown and get shots of the streets and stuff like that for the start of the video. So yeah, so I'm just walking around trying to find some shots. Need empty streets. Had a couple of shots already. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to the church though. And it's very, very cold tonight. <laughs> like really cold. My hands are freezing, but uh, yeah, it's nice to be out and about. So uh, I'm at the church, but it's way too dark on my camera to see it. Uh, I have my camera here in the bag, and yeah, even though it comes up here, I can't see it on my camera because it is way too dark. So I don't know what to do. I'll just have to find uh, an alternative shot. It's really dark, but uh, they have done a really nice job here at the church. It's really cool. Just starting to feel the first few drops of rain on my head. Not a good sign, but uh, yeah. I'm glad I have my camera and plastic in here. And a shot of this Christmas tree outside Super Value. Looks pretty cool. The town has gotten quiet and the shops have gone to sleep. We'll soon hear Christmas bells for the ones that go all out. So uh, yeah, I got my last shot. I'm heading home now, still have loads to do tomorrow, but yeah. The tiredness really isn't, the tiredness really isn't gone. I'm just absolutely wrecked. Always bring a penny. I had to borrow this from a friend and my two nephews, Kinsley and MJ, are coming as well because I need to get some shots with them. So I need to have everything done here before four o'clock-ish. So yeah, it's pretty tight, but I can do it. Turkeys. Boop. Another thing that you really need when you're working on a film set, and it's probably the most important thing, but it's the least expensive thing, and it's this, a penny for these little things. 
when you're unscrewing, you have to have a penny. You have to have a penny. Always bring a penny. Okay, so I was going to go for just like a basic kind of scrabble layout, but now I have a different idea. I'll try and record it while I'm doing it. And I dropped them. Every one of them. That's what I got for trying to multitask. Okay, so take two. The idea is to kind of throw the bag of scrabble tiles down as the camera is passing, so let's see how it goes. Anyone for a game? So I'm trying to get a shot of a can of cider opening. So I have to shake the cider. But I'm not sure how much I should shake it because, yeah, I could wreck the place. I already tried it with this one and it didn't work. So unfortunately, I had to drink it. Oops. Oh, that's the shot. The cheer. It looked awesome. But now I've got another can of cider to drink. Oh, well. Actually, I'm not going to drink it because I'll probably just get a little bit tipsy and then I'll be like, no, nah, it'll be grand, it'll be grand. And then I'll, then I'll end up going to the pub, then I'll end up getting drunk, and then I'll end up having no video. So yeah, I'm not going to drink the second cap. Okay, so the trifle is set. Okay, it's a little bit hard, but it'll do. Lots of custard. Then you smooth it out. That's the shot I'll be getting is the chocolate going on and maybe like a, a shot in the side. Our cherry is still there, you can see it. Custard is almost done. Ah, oh, yeah. Three or four more shots, but guess who's after arriving? These two. Hello. It's double trouble. Clean <laughs> MJ. Should be fun. What are you doing? <laughs> I literally just put them on my lap. <laughs> See, the craziness has already started. And if you don't know MJ and Kinsley, you can watch them in one of the videos I did up here uh, where I brought them into the woods for a stroll. And uh, yeah, say hello. 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 Yeah, they, they, look in, they look innocent, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who wants some cider? Not me! Not me! Good. You passed the test. <laughs> it's gonna snow, but while the little ones count sheep, they wake up to some presents. While they're filled with food, everybody's quick to run. This special little day, the day we choose to celebrate in a sentimental way. From the ones that scream and shout, I just want to Morning. I am absolutely shattered. Like seriously, I'm so tired. I was up until half two last night, editing, putting the video together. Literally 95% done. I have two more shots to get. One of this fucking trifle, which I'm still here doing. I'm just about to make the cream for it. I just need to throw the shots in and I'm done. I might mess around with the audio a little bit, but yeah. Just excited to get it posted later and uh, yeah, say thanks to all my subscribers and followers and I'm just happy to be making another video and yeah, just to be doing something. So I've got the cream here ready to go and I'm gonna beat the crap out of it because I wanna get this shot done. I know it might sound like a stupid question, but does double cream take twice as long to whip? I didn't really shoot a whole lot yesterday with my nephews. I mean, I shot a lot of stuff for the video, but for the vlog, I didn't really shoot a whole lot because it was just so crazy when they got here. I still had so much to do. It's been fun, but it's, yeah, it's been tiring, especially doing it by myself, but yeah, I love it. We used to have a blender, but I have no idea where it's gone. So yeah, whipping it by hand and it's like a gym, it's like a gym workout. Okay, I've got it nearly to where I want it. Look how messy this is. And if you're wondering, yes, double cream does take double the amount of effort. My arm is absolutely throbbing. I won't even be able to open my presents tomorrow. And there we have it. I'm gonna get a shot of like the chocolate being sprinkled on top. The fruit look is in the side as well, like I planned the other night. And yeah, I think it looks all right. It'll do for the shot. So I have my camera here, as you can see, carefully placed on an upside down pot. And then I have my trifle all the way over here. And I'm zoomed in on it to try and get like a out of focus background and stuff. I'm gonna sprinkle some chocolate on it. Let's press record. Let's do it. Trifle set, but it's early yet. Oh no, there's half a flake left. What shall I? What will I do with it? Chocolate for breakfast. Not a bad idea. And that was the end of the behind the scenes. That's all I shot because after that I had to run upstairs and I had to put it in the final shots and post the video. And I hope you liked it. Again, if you haven't seen it, you can watch it up here. I put a lot of work into it. And I know even though it was only like two and a half days, it was like pretty intense and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Part of the reason for me making this video is to show you 
that even though sometimes it's only two or three seconds on screen, like the trifle for example, sometimes it can take two days to prepare for that. Or even for just the shot of the dinner on the table, you know, I had to cook Brussels sprouts and potatoes and squash them on the plate and get Christmas crackers and all this kind of stuff, you know. So a lot of work actually goes into it that you don't get to see, but I like being able to show that behind the scenes stuff and I like being able to show the work that goes into it, because there is a lot of it. And it was really just to say thank you to you and to everybody that watches. I mean, 2019 has been a good and a bad year for me. And I just wanted to find a way of being able to say thank you and to wish you a happy Christmas. Because I obviously can't buy a present for everyone that watches my videos. So I decided to make a video to kind of act as a gift for you. To say happy Christmas and to say thank you for being a supporter and for, and for sticking with me throughout 2019. And this is going to be my final video of the year. So I will see you all again in 2020 with more videos, more content, hopefully more short films, hopefully more videos like my Christmas video, things like that. I'm still learning a lot as I go and, and we'll see how it unfolds. So honestly, thank you for being here. Thank you for an awesome 2019. And I know 2020 is going to be a better year. So stick around and I'll see you all then. Bye.